Here we go. I believe this would be the first upgrade for the Ace. Wall body. This is a Yoshimura. Yoshi. Yoshimura. Yoshimura. I don't know how to say that. Uh, Slip-on exhaust system. What is it? That's the uh, part numbers there. What are they called? The R RS9 or something like that. I don't know. I don't know much about these. So, comes with instruction manual, comes with a, uh, a uh, plug. Interesting, huh? I assume that's for washing and whatnot. I think you stick that in when, it's, when you're not running the vehicle. Uh, got some hardware, we got a tailpipe, and we got the muffler. Now, I already uh, gave you a close up of this uh, old exhaust while it was running here. Of course, you can't really say it's very old. It's, Thing's still practically brand new. Anyways, you can see where the exhaust pipe comes out in the uh, right off the back there. It will now exit off to the side. A little different design. I'll compare them when I pull this one out. And being the slip on exhaust, it will only go up to here. It doesn't replace the, uh, the uh, actual header off of the head. So. I think the other exhaust that's available for these actually replaces that header too, but that exhaust costs a couple hundred bucks more, and I think I'm gonna like this one. From what I've read, Yoshimura makes some, some pretty nice stuff. I've seen them around for street bikes and stuff. I've never noticed them on dirt bikes and whatnot, but I haven't paid too much attention to that industry. So, that's yet. Enough yakking, let's do this. So this should be uh, pretty straightforward. Looks like I got a couple screws across the top, a couple bolts there, a couple bolts there, some little uh, plastic push pins, a couple connectors for the tail lights, and then drop that whole back end off. Uh, and then that'll access the exhaust. All right, that's what it looks like with the uh, rear panel off. Pretty basic, like I said, a couple screws, fasteners, and push pins. Just connect the tail lights and it drops right out. You can see this old exhaust here now. It's kind of a goofy design how they have the tailpipe come out the, the bottom of the muffler there. It's just that weird, huh? the two springs that hold the tailpipe into the muffler. Uh, one bolt on the bottom. She's uh, loose. It's pretty heavy, actually. Interesting design. Actually looks really restrictive. If you can see in there, there's a plate a few inches back with some weird cutouts in it. <laughs> All right, there's the second half. A little bit of a pain in the butt to get to the springs, but it's good. Huh, these actually have little, little seals. Okay. And of course, we can't take the exhaust off without starting it. the size here just a hair bigger you can see the uh, outside diameter of the old pipe actually almost fits inside the new one so just a hair bigger plus this one's a lot thicker too the material they use steel or whatever this guy's a thinner stainless got the new uh, muffler loosely installed there I'm gonna install these different exhaust springs that come with the kit. I guess that's what this tool is for. Yeah, those are easy. Definitely louder. <laughs> wow. It's actually 
be louder than I thought it was going to be. I wasn't going for loud, but it sounds good. Yeah, get it all back together and go take it for a drive. We are back together. She's looking good. Little tailpipe sticking out there. She's got this bark arrester in the end. You might notice I uh, did some trimming on that back bumper. It used to be a, a grill, plastic grill. Across the muffler there, well, I decided to cut it out and clean it up so I can uh, show off that pretty muffler. Then I also trimmed the one below it because one side was open for the exhaust, the other side had that plastic grill, so I cut it out too so it matches. Looks pretty good. I like it. Everything's tucked up and back together.